okay so now it's time to create our host pool so for the host pool we need to search for azure virtual desktop and you will get this page where it's asking you to create the host pool so when you go on to the host pool section you can see there's no host pool created at the moment so let's go on to create a host pool now you need to fill this um, let me create a new resource group let me name it as rghp in the pool name i'll just put pool one i'll choose the same location east us validation environment i'll choose it as default no and host pool type so for the host pool type there are two types one is personal and one is pooled so the personal is one on one like if you want to give one virtual machine to one user but for this demo purpose we are using the shared image for several users so i will select the pooled now it will ask you for the load balancing algorithm so the load balancing is managed by microsoft on their internal network but we need to specify what kind of load balancing algorithm we need uh, the first one is breadth first and second one is depth first so the breadth first is which allows you to evenly distribute the user's session across the session host in the host pool and for depth first which is a bit cost effective which allows you to separate the session host with a user session in a host pool so when the first session is uh, filled with maximum session limit and the users will go into the next session limit so for this demo purpose let me select depth first and now it will ask you the maximum session limit let me choose two here let's go to the next option which is virtual machine yes we need to add the virtual machine let me select the virtual machine resource group and we'll ask you to name prefix so all session host will be the same prefix name so let me add avd as a prefix i'll choose the same location and let me select no availability options and for the image type it will be gallery and because we have already selected created our image so let's go into the see all image if you don't create your reference image you can also select from here you can go from windows 10 multi-session oh sorry that's windows 10 multi-session and you can see all the options here but we have already created our reference image and we put our one application there as well so we just go into the my items and there you go you can see your image so click on your image and number of vms i will just say we need just one and os just type i will choose premium for good performance and for virtual network i will choose avd vnet which is our default virtual network and i'll choose the same subnet network security group basic that's fine i'll leave everything as it is now the next section here is domain to join so it's asking select which directory you would like to join <clears throat> so we already have active directory and domain controller installed in one of the vm so we select active directory and ad domain join vpn so we already have avd admin as our um, domain admin so let me select and just avd outlook 563 dot On microsoft.com so that's my upn and my domain name let me put the password for this
And now we need to select one virtual machine administrator to, to manage this host, session host. We need to specify a username as well. So I'll just put as default what I'm using it for other virtual machine. Right. Now um, I'll leave everything as it is. Just let me go on to the next one called Workspace. So register desktop, yes. Let me, we don't have any workspace at the moment. So workspace is when user log in to the virtual desktop, they will see the applications and virtual desktop. So the collection of the application groups and the desktop is called workspace. So let me create a new one because we don't have any. So let me name is my workspace. Let me click OK. And let's go to the next one. Advance, I will leave everything as it is. And then review and create. It's going to validate first. Okay, so the validation got passed. So let me click on create. And now it's going to take at least five minutes to create it. So when it gets created, I'll come back to it. Thanks. Okay, so our host pool deployment is complete. Let's go into the resource. You can go it from Azure Virtual Desktop as well. And now when you go into host pool, you will see your pool one is created. And you can see the name host pool type is pooled and load balancing we have selected is step first. And that's in East US region and the resource group is RGHP. So when you click on the pool one, you will see some options there like uh, RDB properties. So you can see some tabs like a session behavior, um, you can definitely configure everything as per your requirement. And there's some other settings like device redirection, display settings, and there is an advanced option. If you go to properties, you will see your resource ID, resource group, and subscription name. And let's go on to the application groups. So by default, it has been created an application group. It's called pool one. And if you go into that, you will see the description of this. That's under the host pool, pool one, and the workspace is my workspace. And let's go into the applications. There is only one application at the moment, which is session desktop. Which is which got created by default. So now, what we do is we are going to assign some users um, to use this application group when they log in. So just click on the assignment and let's click on Add. And if you remember, we have already created. A pool user. So there are, I think there are three members, user one, two, and three in it. So let's select that. Okay, so you can see it's success one, it has been added. Okay, so the, before we test this deployment, let's go back to the application group. Let me cancel this. Let's go to the application group and create one more application. Application group. I will select the same resource group, same host pool, and I'll name it as IT apps. And let me put some application here. 
let's select the start menu and let me go for Excel Excel let me save it and let's do one more I uh, will give paint let's name it paint as well all right so next go to assignment let me this time let me just add user 2 I'm just assigning this remote app to user 2 at the moment and I'm registering this with my existing workspace go advance tag review and create yep click create Okay, so you can see my deployment is complete. So when we go back to it, let's go to resource. And you can see in the application group, we have two applications. One is by default pool one and second one is IT apps which I've given only to user 2 at the moment, just for the testing purpose. And we have the host pool and we have the workspace. Now it's time to go and test this deployment. Okay, let's quickly go back to our steps. So we have done step 10. We have created the host pool and we have assigned those AD groups to our application group. And we have created one more application group and assigned it to one user. Now we are on the final step, which is test our Azure Virtual Desktop.